sex menu is, I think it's extremely important, especially at the beginning when you're just starting out something, to get a sense of people's kinks. It's a good way to to talk about what you're potentially into without having this pressure that you then have to go into that right away. Mm. And just for anyone who doesn't know, a sex menu, it's a essentially a spreadsheet where you've got lots of sexual activities listed out and you rank them on a scale from hard limit to, yes, I must absolutely have that. If you're looking for one, you can find one at kinkyevents.co.uk. I think it's forward slash sex hyphen menu. But if you go onto the website and search, you'll be able to find a sex menu, which has, I think it's got about 350 items on it. It takes about a week to, no, it doesn't take a week. It takes about uh, an hour to fill in. It takes, well, especially because some things, when I was first reading, I didn't actually know what it was. So then you have to go on a Google search or you have to be like, what does this mean? And then when you're told, you're like, oh, oh, I see. And sometimes it's, oh, I'm really into that and then other times it's like oh that sounds scary <laughs> i've been thinking that i want to take another look at my sex menu and perhaps reevaluate because i'm sure that some of my soft limits or some of the things that i've said that i'm less into i might be more into now that we've established that trust i've just opened up mine here and i'm just having a look at because uh, i filled it in this is March 2020, I filled in. So I'm just going to read off a few of them. So the first section is affection. So you've got things like aftercare, bath time, bed sharing, cuddles, public displays of affection. And I put those all as a five, which is I want this. So the scale I have on my menu is a hard limit. One is a soft limit. Two is a if I must. Three is a let's try it. Four is a yes, please. Five is I want this. And six is a fetish need. I absolutely have to have that. And then it goes into, we've got a section on anal play. We've got appearance, clothing, which has things like corsets, collars, cross-dressing, dressing up to please dom, fur, hairy genitals, latex, leather, lingerie. There's so much on here. And if you do happen to download a copy and you have something that you really enjoy that's not on here, please do email me at chief at kinkyevents.co.uk because I like to keep this updated and add as much as I can on here. Is cock warming on there? Because that's like my favorite activity of all time. And Let's have a look. I, it's so niche that I think that it might not be on there. It's not. I'm sure we have uh, cock sucking. Yeah, which is not but the same cock thing. cock warming. Yeah. Do you want to give it, what, how would you explain cock warming to the uninitiated? This is a whole other topic because it's seriously. Yeah, I mean, it, we could do a whole topic on it. We really could because my mouth's already salivating. Um, <laughs> cock warming. Have lobe in there. Yeah. You've been conditioned. I really have been conditioned. Which is great for me. That's good. Because I think it's a bit like... Oh, I love it. Good. Because um, each... Sorry, but if Sorry. any guys any guys listening to this and you've got a partner who loves sucking your cock at any time, they are not going to not want that. That is the dream. I get embarrassed about it though because if we're just sitting and watching TV and I'm like, I want to be sucking your cock right now. Anyway, cock warming is basically keeping your cock in my mouth without necessarily the intention to turn it into oral sex. It's just having something in my mouth to play with. And it's actually very soothing. Mm, it's a relaxation. It's relaxing. It? But it, it does also turn me on at the same time. It's good. I highly recommend to anyone who hasn't done cock warming to give it a try. 10 out of 10 would recommend. 